let's talk about Dark Matter in our feature story of the night! Watch it all. So Dark Matter came out. Uh, it's done now. Nine episodes. Weird number, by the way. Nine episodes. We did nine episodes. We can't do ten. I mean, everybody's expecting a ten. Like, where's the tenth episode? It's not done. Whatever. It's 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 their own call. But Dark Matter finish. Uh, hey Tim. <laughs> Tim, you take your fucking Pornhub and you square root that some bitch and stick where the sun don't. Stick where the sun don't shine. Love you, man. Uh, anyways, there's no Pornhub in my my web browser. That's not what it is. <laughs> Dark Matter, everybody! Dark Matter is done. And this is one of those things, Joel Edgerton, of course, he got his big break, big, big break, going to fucking Navi or wherever for the fucking blue people and Avatar. But now he has this new show for Apple TV+, Plus, playing Jason Dessen. Great, great fucking performance, I would say. Jennifer Connelly, even better. I fucking love her. She's Friend of the best. fucking show. She's fucking Good great. Role. She's, she's, I, I love her. She's sexy. She's great. She fucking kills it. Better than she was in Top Gun Maverick. She was great in there, though, too. Uh, I love her so much. Alice Braga in this, too, playing Amanda. She was fucking great. I think she's great. Of course, she's in a different universe. She's in love with Jason. But, you know... Yes, it is, let's, let's, let's go into the brass text of this show. So, Joel Edgerton's character, Jason, there's multiple versions in a multiversal one. He's living his life. He's married to his wife, Daniela. They have a kid. They're all happy. And then he's hit in the head. He is fucking trapped. Throw into a box and lands a different multiverse where all of a sudden he's living somebody else's life that looks just like him. And that same time, that person who looks just like him takes his life because he wants to have the family and the kid that he never had. And what does this mean? It's a weird multiversal show. And it's all based off of a person that chooses one path in life leads in this way when they could have gone this way. The branches of the multiverse, everybody. That's what Dark Matter showed. Where one person decided, I should never become involved with work and obsessed with work. I should have actually married that girl, had that family, and that would be happy. And he creates a box that he can go into and find any version of himself in that box. And he steals the life of the one that he always wanted and makes him live his life. Crazy concept. Very interesting. Very outgoing. Very ambitious for Apple TV+. Plus. I was very hooked on it. Very hooked. I watched the whole show. I will tell you the ending, though, where they went. And I get what they're doing with it. They're trying to figure out a way for it to work. Okay, what happens? He finally gets home to his universe, everybody. He gets home. But here's where I say they jumped the shark. He gets home, and all of a sudden, there's multiple versions of himself that get home the same thing. So we got hundreds of versions of him that get home, too. And they're all fighting to be in love with the same woman. To me... If you're talking about a multiversal show, only one version gets back. That's what I would say. Only one version, technically, I think, should get back. Everyone else want to die. They would die along the way somehow. Why are there, like, hundreds of versions of himself that get fucking back? That makes no sense. I'm watching a show. I'm expecting a, a mano y mano, one-on-one, -on -one, the version that kidnapped him and took his life versus a version that got home fine to fight that motherfucker to get his life back. But instead, what we have that, all... What was, that Jet, what was that Jet Li movie, Brian? You know what I'm talking about? The one? The one where he fights... Is it the one? Yeah, where the he fights all one. the different versions of... It's the one. Yes. It's the one. And that's what they're doing with this. Like, there's all these versions, and they're killing each other, and it's like, it's convoluted. When it first happened, because what messed me up in this show, when, he, when the first version gets there, you think it's the character you're following the whole time, right? And then he gets there, and, and the bad guy, the bad version, kills immediately. Spoilers, guys. Fucking just murders the fuck him. Bash his head against him. So like, the fucking show's done. The fucking whole show's done. And you realize he's not wearing the right ring. And all of a sudden, there's like hundreds of versions of him that come back this is to me it's jumping the fucking shark it's just fucking jumping the shark because i think if you're gonna play off the multiversal thing where you open a door and it takes different lives and every life is a different version that actually made that choice to get to one place and i would say technically like you can you can play off it. yeah there's multiple versions i would say technically for me one person gets back that makes more sense to me than all of them get back. But then again, that's what they went for. And maybe I'm wrong on the science. The science, again, is fucking fuzzy math. It's fucking George W. Bush fuzzy math. You know what I mean? That's what this is. We fucking have no idea how the multiverse actually works. But to me, it made it made the ending, made me care less. Like, I wanted that one-on-one -on -one battle as opposed to what we got in the end was him and his person who kidnapped his whole life being like, you were right. I shouldn't have taken your life away. Enjoy your best life. Go into the box and be happy. And I'm like, I'm sorry I'm spoiling it for you, Mike. But... <laughs> to me, I'm like, also there's hundreds of them like trying to fight with him to steal his life. And they're all trying to fucking steal his life. It's not a good ending. 
It's not a happy ending. It's not a bad ending. It is a bad ending because people would be upset about it. I was upset about it. I'm like, I'm like, at least give me the happy ending. Sure, Brian. That's why they no, did it. They're not GR. It's done. The creator came forward and said, this is it. One and done. One season and done. So what's the fucking... Bet? Well... It's Hollywood. G you want to bet? GR is getting in there. So, GR, you think that a situation like this, they will do more with this show? I don't know if anybody watched this show out there, if you watched it or not. I mean, I watched the whole thing. I was excited about it. I really thought it was going to go someplace. that would be like, like groundbreaking, lead it open for more shit. And to me, it just seemed like they just dropped the ball. So, GR, you think well, there's going to be more coming? As, as I've had a few drinks. <laughs> Which is typical on a Friday. Yeah, even though it's Saturday. What was the... That's true. The, the Christmas movie with uh, Clarence the uh, Angel. It's a wonderful, it's a wonderful life. fucking life, man. This is a ripoff of that. Yeah, there you go. I mean, it's that's all I buy that. On, uh, what, the, the Dickens Christmas classic? Oh, uh, yeah. Bah humbug. <laughs> How about buy It's a Wonderful Life is one of my favorite fucking movies ever. That's so all buy this is, Brian. Well, okay. Again, 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 at the end, I guess Jr. is like he wants. He realizes. I guess he's living through his life. He's kind. Of, you're right. He is kind of walking through his life, like whatever, you know. And I think you're right. He does kind of decide. What the, what the, what the, what the fuck's going on? With the, the the God King out here, guys. Welcome to the show. Uh, you should have been. I told you to come to the show, man. Uh, but I think you're right. He fucking loves his family more at the end than he ever did, right? So I think he learned that he had everything. He didn't realize that. You're right. Wonderful life in that way, but. I really expected if someone steals your fucking life and it's you, it's a version of you. I just wanted this fucking, I, I wanted something like, how do you fight yourself? How do you figure that out? How do you find a way to defeat yourself? That seems almost impossible. They should know every inner workings. They should decide on who you're going to be, what choice you're going to make. And now that was a fascinating about this show. We didn't get I'd, that. We I'd, be able, I'd be able to defeat myself easy. I would know exactly what I was going to be thinking, and I would compensate for it and come in and get the za like right when I wasn't expecting it. How would you do it, Mike? How would you fucking beat yourself, though? Well, it, it's tough because at the very beginning, like he kind of sneaks up behind himself and throws a bag over his head, like so he puts himself in a compromised position. <laughs> he does. He does. So, you never be in that, you know, that. behind the closed doors, back, back, fucking tied decision. You don't want that shit. Yeah, I guess, I guess then you have to go back to the, to the. It, it's a, it's a Planet of the Apes situation, right? You have to go back before the previous iteration to put a, a bag over the head of the guy that was putting a bag over your head, like in just kind of series of infinite, infinite regressions, uh, and then. I think you, as long as you're the, the you first can, guy. You can bag me. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't say that. You can bag me? Is that what you said, GR? No, I didn't say that. What's I said she could. What, what, oh, oh, she could. GR is uh, GR's getting thirsty right now on a Saturday night. <laughs> Jennifer Connolly, yeah. I, yeah, I don't, I don't oh. know, Brian. This, uh, this Joel Edgerton guy, I, I, don't, I don't buy him so much. I think he's got dramatic chops, but he's got, he's oh, got kind of these Mike, sad sack Mike, vibes. Mike, Mike could put the bag over my head. <laughs> Whoa! I, would, I, don't know what, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do. I wouldn't do it. I could never do that. What is you, happening GR. tonight, everybody? What is happening tonight? The um, other Mike, not you. <laughs> oh, I hope oh, she's we're going getting, to sleep already. Oh my god, we're, we're getting we're getting we're getting saucy now. Um, uh, well, you, you gotta watch the Thursday. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. What we're saying is this, so. You're right, Mike. Like to get get to that point, like where someone's gonna do that, you're gonna fight yourself. You know, uh, I know you didn't watch the whole show. You said you watched only the first like three episodes. Are you yep. shocked to hear that, that? That's how it ended. Like it was like I I, when I was watching the show. I'm like, how are there like a million versions of him right now? It was like insane. Like there was like, there was, like so many they would not stop. They just kept popping up left and right. I'm like, why are we doing this? Why do we have like a million versions of one character fighting himself? This, I, I thought this story was going in a much different direction than it did. Uh, is that is that good? Is that convoluted to you at all? No, I mean I appreciate the attempt to take a left turn. I, I'm basically with GR and of my same opinion as the uh, trailer that we watched a bit ago. Just like this is really not a fresh story of like just being like, oh, what if I made a different decision? Right, that's that's the whole 
uh, basis of the of the plot. So that's not going to be the surprising element here. It's just an episode of uh, Twilight Zone, basically. Uh, so so I, if they're if they're going to have any like any kind of juice, anything that people want to talk about, they're going to have to at least throw some crazy twist in there. And in this case, it's turning it into Jet Li's the one for the last episode. <laughs> Oh, I was so pissed. I was so pissed. I wanted so much. I, I was watching this fucking show. I watched it every fucking week, in and out, every day. I watched. I, I was. I was waiting. I was. I, I was that guy. Midnight, the fucking show drops. I'm like watching it Tuesday night, and I was so drawn in. They're they're, they're going like the one. The good thing about this show that is really cool is they go in this box, right? They go in the fucking box, gr. In the box, when they get there, uh, it, it came down to like what? There's like a, there's like a hallway of a million doors, a million doors. And they're like, well, where are we going to go? Does each door enter a different multiverse? How does this work? And they came to find out that any door could be any universe. It came down to what you were thinking and how you felt when you opened that door. Right, right. So th- that's the question then, Brian. Is is the content of this story intended to be like for fun, for a plot, or is there a greater metaphorical takeaway that you're supposed to get from uh, from the way that they portrayed the end there? I think there could be a metaphorical takeaway. Like you're trying to find out like what makes you truly happy, you know? And like what, at the end of the day, like, of course, some people go in the box and they think one thing and they're into like like the most fucked up universe. And like, why did I end up here? Because you didn't really understand yourself and what made you happy. Like he had a hard time finding his family again and him and Amanda are in the box and they're trying to figure it out. But both people's minds are connected when they open the door too. They had to figure that out, which was interesting to me too. So if, if they, like one person had to clear their mind completely and one would think and focus on it and they could open the door and go to the right place. But they, right. there's one episode, there's one fucking episode though, GR, where they, they just go into like, there's like a fucking blizzard. They open the fucking door and it's the biggest blizzard ever. And the bitch Amanda runs, at, I don't want to call her a bitch, but she's like, but she pissed me off because she ran into the fucking blizzard. And I'm like, why the fuck would you ever run into a fucking blizzard? Like in the middle of nowhere in this universe, you can't see shit. Do you want to die? Do you want to die? I mean, I would call him an asshole or I call him a fucking douche nozzler if it was a dude. I don't care. Don't run the fucking blizzard. Don't do it. You know, I'm sorry. I've been drinking. Uh, I love people. Really? Human yeah. beings. Human beings are great. Uh, 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 bitch, is a, bitch is a fucking lovely term. I call Mike term, a bitch. Term, term of endearment, of course. Endearment, yes. Mike's not a bitch. He's a slut. But that's his... <gasps> But why would you run well, to the fucking they're, blizzard? They're not, mutually, they're not mutually exclusive, GR. I mean, come on. It's a thing. <laughs> I was trying to be nice, Mike. <laughs> but I was like, when you see the story, you're like... Brian, let's let's face this. This is nothing more... And we already talked about one movie. We did a TV series about this bullshit. Well, it, you're thinking about Quantum Leap, but it's, it's, it is, but it isn't. It is what it isn't. Hey, is the ending the same? <laughs> Sam uh, didn't come home. <laughs> he didn't get back to his love. It's all. It's all Hollywood. Re- well, it's what is. It's a redo of a redo of a redo. He does get home though. He does get home. I would say the one we follow, the the, the, the actual character that Which we do one follow. Of the thousand guys got home. Well, that's the question. We follow one that makes a braid around his, his, his ring home, finger. Ra- this ring finger. Well, the braid one, the, the one that puts it like a little, like a, he makes he makes a little piece of, uh, of like, it's like fucking twine or some shit around his finger. That one actually is the one that gets back to his wife. But he even says in the show, she goes, "Are you are you you?" And he goes, and he says something along the lines of, uh, "I am me, but not quite me." So you don't really know if it's actually so the right person. Home. Well, that's that's a fucked up thing about it. If you follow the same person, you say it's that person, and they make it. That's great. That makes sense. All the rest are just copies, right? And he's killing the cop. He killed copies. Other people killed copies, but they don't really specify that it is the actual person. But then it ends, and then they go into the box to find a new life. I'm, I'm spoiling this fucking shit big time. Um, but well, we'll to me, I'm like next year, Brian. They said they're not going to do anymore. Nine, nine and done. That's what they said. And, uh, you know, the uh, Silo is another Apple uh, TV plus show that's similar to this. If you watch Silo, I love Silo, too. Where it, but, dude, Silo's great. And where they end it is, like, oh, it's leading to something more. But this, I, I thought this was going to be, like, a new Silo. But the way it ends, I'm like, 
This is it, guys. This is what you got for us. So, this... It sounds like metaphorical content to me, Brian. I think it's it's saying that we've all got these million doors that are available to us all the time, and we can walk through any of them. So we shouldn't feel like we're. Mike, that's a like... pretty big word for a uh, Saturday night. <laughs> metaphorical. <laughs> yeah, I get that. I get that. But I think though, I think they could have. They could have. I feel like the direction wasn't quite on for this series. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of giving. I'm kind of giving them a free pass with that. Like, oh, it's it's super crunchy, bro. Don't try to get too Which, literal. I'm, I'm gonna tell you. As soon as I saw like him looking at like five versions of himself, I'm like, what the fuck just happened? We're jump. And, and I, I get it. I get it. that's that's that that is like some did, science there that could happen. Out, if if they if they're doing a Mexican standoff and nobody either brings out a revolver or starts kicking some kung fu, then you're right. They fucked up the direction. Yeah, yeah they did. And I don't know. I don't know if I all saw it out there. If you saw it, let me know. But like, I I, wa- I, I was watching. I was like, I'm like, I just wanted. I was really expecting this big. Uh, I'm giving. I'm giving it a womp womp. I really expected a standoff at the end. I'm pulling we didn't that it. clip. I'm pulling that clip from you, Brian. You're too trigger happy on that. About what the, the womp womp, the the womp womp, the horn. That's that's not even the. Is that the Price is Right horn? No, it's not. It's just it's just the sad horn. Price is Right horn. That's just the regular the regular sadness horn. But I will say because Mike appeared out of nowhere, out of fucking nowhere, it's magical. It's amazing. He gets this. Is there anything? I can't see anything. I'm imagining fairies and dust. Oh, and, oh, oh that's what it sounded and, uh, like, too. You, you couldn't it hear sounded, it. It sounded like balloons. It sounded like sprinkles. It sounded oh. like a you got it all, yogurt. Mike. You got it all. Okay. Um, I, I'm, I'm just bummed about this show. I, I really, I just, I guess what I want to talk about this show. I just want to talk about it. It's, it's a weird Saturday night. It's 4th of July, everybody. I just, um, I really felt good about Joel Edgerton's performance in this for the first time in a long time. And I also was excited about Jennifer Connelly. She's fucking funny. I, is she getting hotter in her older age? Is she getting hotter? Can I, can I put that question out there? GR, is she getting hotter? She's not hot. She's not old, so she's sexy as hell. <laughs> GR is fucking thirsty. I can't ask him you, this you, question. I don't know. You, you can't call you him thirsty. Me, you, know? yeah. you were going on Charlize there and earlier, Brian. <laughs> she was fucking sexy too, man. Do I like... I don't know. Do I like? Uh, uh, maybe I do. Uh, I just think she looks fucking hot. Uh, Mike. After Jennifer what Connelly. happened on 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 the fourth, Brian, I'm smiling. Nothing happened on the fourth besides buttercups and rainbows and fucking fireworks and snap pops and fucking hot dogs, hamburgers, and a lot hey, of fucking you, Stella and fucking 805 with Jack Fire. You, when you're my aging, it flirted with a 26 year old. Well, that happened. Gr was cutting a rug with a twenty-six-year-old. He was very happy. Um, you know what? Again, well, thirsty I was daddy. Smiling. I don't know about happy, but I was smiling. Round of applause for you. But you know, when you start, this... granddaughter older than her, it's like, <laughs> oh my god, what am I thinking? <laughs> Anybody say anything in the comments here? Uh, the Queen loves Labyrinth. Uh, one of her favorite movies. <laughs> uh, what else we got going oh, here in the comments, again, everybody? That's my fault. I, I, I fell down on my job. Tim calls her a MILF. He's like, she's definitely a MILF, he says. I love your Labyrinth, MILF. Uh, we got here. Oh, Come on. Who doesn't like Jennifer Connelly? She's been a that. classic forever. Mike is an MVP. Look at that. Mike is an MVP. Oh, th- thanks, Infra. Yeah, Lynn, yeah, Lynn's a big fan of uh, Jennifer Connelly too. Every everybody loves Jennifer Connelly. She's, She's one of the greatest great. dramatic actresses of all time. Come on. Yeah. Thank you, sorry. Tim. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Um, but I will say this: this show, I think, I think overall, I wanted it to be. I really wanted. I expected something different for the end. I get it, based off a book, apparently too, and so they're trying to do their own thing. Uh, but I think they could have gone differently. Sometimes you gotta like redirect for a series. You know, redirect, and I think they could have done something different. If it was based maybe, on the book, then presumably that's the way the book ends, Brian. I know, but fuck that. They, they <laughs> fucking change books all the time. We, we talked about a lot of reboot penises earlier today. Like reboot it, make it something different, make it something interesting. Like and maybe the sometimes books don't have the best endings. They just don't. I'm sorry. I, I maybe that's controversial, but sometimes you have a great concept that needs more. Just needs fucking more. And I think that there's one done now for Apple TV Plus. That's great and all, but. This could have been something different. And they could have had a big battle, big scene, a big blowout, as opposed to a convoluted mess, if you ask me. I'm Man, not thrilled with Apple, Apple TV is just blasting out funds at any sci-fi mm-hmm. 
properties. They're giving it to talented people, but it's not all it's not all bullseyes is the thing. But there's, they're, there's they're doing some great work, shit. But uh, uh, there's a new show called um, Innocent Proven Innocent or uh, uh, Proven Guilty Proven Innocent. Oh, Jake Gyllenhaal. I've been watching that right now. It's very much like defending Jacob. If you've Jake seen Gyllenhaal that before. on TV, man, we are yes. living in a different era now, man. Dude, Jake Gyllenhaal is fucking killing it, man. It's a good show. I like it a lot. You know, maybe some people fucking hate it, but I, I like it a lot. Gyllenhaal would fucking kill him. I think this fool eventually will get his Oscar. It's going to take some time for him, but eventually. He does great. Hey, 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 Tim. Suck it. You know what? You do you. You know, you're 69 yourself. Um, but I we can reel say, that back, Brian. We, we appreciate that. You so, he softened it. I softened it. Uh, Tom was softening it. Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal is the man. I love him. He's great in this show. He's great in this show, and I love him. And I think that what he's doing is bringing a lot of acting chops to Apple TV that they haven't had since Defending Jacob. Again, that was Chris Evans. Great fucking job. Again, law, procedural, drama. He's a great job. And again, it's based off a murderer. They think he killed the person. Probably did not. Maybe he did. I think I know, though. Can I say something controversial? I'm going to say it because no one's... Anybody watching this show? Anybody seen this show at all? And the, at all, no, your, Mike, you haven't seen show, it, right? Brian, say something controversial, GR, brother. Jar, Jar, have you seen it? You haven't seen it, right? The oh, new Jake oh. Gyllenhaal Apple TV. I will say this: I think uh, I, I, I love Jake though. He's he's, he's great. Incredible. But I'm gonna say it right now because it's very early. I'm gonna say I think the mortician killed her. I'm gonna say it. I think the mortician oh, killed it's, her because it's because it's still early, so it's fair to speculate. I got you. I'm gonna say it: the mortician or. Or his best friend, who who is who was this attorney, is now his lawyer, his wife. I'm going to say his wife. It's the best, who, it's the best out, friend. Out the gate, his wife is like, why the fuck? Did I know about this. You should, he should be. He's guilty. He's guilty. The first scene you see her, he's guilty. Why the fuck would you believe? Oh, we're, they're best friends, but he's guilty. So either this bitch or the mortician who has already covered up some semen samples. You cover the semen samples up, you're guilty, bitch. I'm just saying, there's some shit here. That's no, weird. The, the, and the, the best friend did it because he wants the wife, you know, or something like that. There's some weird shit happening. I don't know. This show is bad, good, and I think that Apple TV does some great shit, and I hope that, you know, I, I wish it did better for Dark Matter, but I think Dark Matter still was fun, interesting, great acting, fun to watch. Jennifer Connelly kills it. Very sexy. Some nice little, uh, if, 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 you, if you love the, uh, if you love a little bit of, like, uh, moments, you'll enjoy her, too. And, if, you uh, if you love moments, if you love moments, I love you love, love, you love <laughs> this series. It's you know, full of moments. You know, those moments Jennifer Connelly moments. Oozing out of the walls with this I'm going to give him one of these. I'm going to give him one of these. Love those moments. Do you love that? Oh, don't, don't be doing that on TV. Yeah, yeah, GR knows, knows what I'm talking about. Where's, where's Thirsty God Daddy King? Where's the comment? We need him. Where's the God King? Um, but I would say this overall. Uh, this show, I think, could have done more than they did. But they, they, they found their way. They made their magic. At the end of the day, it's up to you to decide if you liked it or not. Let me know. Keep us posted. Let us know yeah, what you thought about it. Tacky. No, I do not. I want Jennifer Connelly's fucking everyone. Anyways, everybody. So you want to what a fucking show. Samples. What a great. It's Saturday. Saturday in Saturday. the park. Uh, nothing that can touch Patrick Swayze. You're right. He's semen sampling all day, man. Uh, I... I'd give her a semen sample. Mm -hmm. Anyways, everybody, happy Saturday! Thank you for being on a cruise control. <laughs> what are they doing at that roadhouse? That's a good question. You know what Dark Matter. Doing the <laughs> can, I, can I say, like, in all honesty, though, Dark Matter is a, it's a good show. I just think they jumped the shark a little bit, and I think that they went too far too soon. This is based not the on, Matrix. It's based on a book, man. What are you going to I know, do? But, this is, but this is not Mr. Smith. This is, you know, like, this guy's trying to get home to his family. Get home to my family. He's struggling. He's fucking battling it. And, and once there were like a million versions of him, I was like, oh, I want to stop watching. But I finished it. And I would say, it's happy, but it's still not what I wanted. All right. I'm, I'm writing an email to the author right now, Brian. Tell him, tell him or her, or they, or all the above, what the I'll fuck. Sh they should have better. But Dark Matters out, everybody. Uh, watch the whole show on Apple TV Plus tonight if you want to after Cruise Control. And let us know how you feel about it because... Honestly, I will tell you, the first seven episodes, I was fucking soaked in. Eight and nine, I was like, what is happening? And I think they dropped the ball, but maybe you love it. If you do, please tell us why. 
Yo, player, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we are live. And if you are able to join our Patreon, please join. Because the pep star needs more snickety snacks. Because I'm hungry. Holla back. Love y'all.